Hello good friends, welcome to Verify So. I hope you're doing great. Myself, I'm doing fine here. And in today's video, I want to discuss on two terms that confuse some people in this immigration process, including the DV lottery immigration. What is the difference between the green card and visa? The term green card and the term visa. Let me explain these two terms. Let's start with the visa. What is a visa? A visa is a permit that you are given by the embassy of a certain country or by the government of a certain country to allow you go to that country and do some specific things specified by that visa and it is always timed so you are visiting that nation or that country for a defined period of time so that documentation that you require that permission that you require for you to visit a foreign country that is what we call the visa and it is normally a stamp on your passport there are two broad categories of visas. The first one is the non-immigrant visa and the second one is the immigrant visa. The non-immigrant visa is that visa which allows you to visit a foreign country for a certain purpose for a short duration of time. A good example is the student visa. This student visa will only give you permission to go to a foreign country that you've chosen for studies. Maybe you're going there for your further studies to study for two years or three years or so. So this visa only gives you the permission to be in that foreign country specifically for studies and for that duration of time. After that time expires, you're supposed to return back to your country of citizenship. Other examples of non-immigrant visas are the visit visas, maybe for vacation. It may be a visit visa to visit a friend over there. Another example is the visit visa for medical procedures and so on and so forth. That is the non-immigrant visa. The immigrant visa is that visa that will give you the permission of residence in that foreign country. For example, when you come to the United States, the immigrant visa will give you permission to become a permanent resident to the United States. And this means that you will have many rights when you're holding the immigrant visa. You'll have the permission to live or to stay in any state that you like, any place of choice within the United States. An important thing to note about the immigrant visa is that it allows you the permanent residence, meaning you can stay in that country as long as you want and you enjoy, the, and you enjoy those rights, but it does not mean citizenship. However, the immigrant visa can give you a way to apply for the citizenship after a certain period of time, depending on the country that you are living in. Having seen what a visa is, now let's come to green card. What is green card? Green card is the physical document in the United States that represents the permanent residence visa. So green card is a type of an immigrant visa by the United States. And it is the physical card, the physical presentation 
of the immigrant visa in the United States. The term green card is only used in the United States and it got the name green card in the year 1946 because from 1946 to 1964 those cards were green in color so they got their name from there. What are the types of green cards that we do have currently? Currently there are four types of green card that one can obtain. The first one is the family-based green card. This is the green card that can be obtained by the close relatives of a US citizen or a person with the permanent residence status. These close relatives include the children of the United States citizen or the person with the permanent residence status or the brothers or the parents. The other family-based green card is through marriage. When an uncitizen is married to a citizen of the United States or a person with the permanent residence status, he or she can obtain the marriage-based green card under the family-based green card. The second category is the employment-based green card. The employment-based green card is the green card issued to individuals working in certain jobs in the United States but are currently not citizen or not holding the permanent resident status. They can apply for the green card through the Department of Labor and eventually be given a green card through the job they are doing. The third category is the humanitarian based green card. The humanitarian based green card can be given to those people that came in as refugees, those who are seeking asylum, those who are victims of crimes or human trafficking or abuse and these are eligible for the humanitarian based green card. The fourth category is the green card through the diversity visa lottery program. And this is a lottery, meaning people from all over the globe who can place their entry and based on luck or chance be issued a green card for them to go and have the permanent resident status in the United States. So it is a form of a lottery that ensures the inclusivity of all diversity of people in the United States. There are about 55,000 green card visas issued in this diversity visa program every year. Now guys, that is all about the visa and the green card. And as I come into conclusion, let me run swiftly on the differences between these two. And the first one is that a visa should be applied prior visiting that country that you intend to visit. Number two, non-immigrant visas do not allow for permanent residence in that country. Number three, a green card is a physical document that represents your permanent residence in the United States. Green cards can only be obtained once you have entered the United States. And finally, a person with the green card can apply for citizenship after a duration of some period from three years to five years depending on the type of the green card so guys i'll end this video at this point i hope it has been resourceful and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and thank you for liking the video and sharing the video if you're returning one i say thank you let's meet in the next video